Now tonight we continue our coverage about the discussion over whether to allow smaller homes in the city of Muskegon. It's an effort to ease the housing crunch and it's set to go before the city commission next week. The city held a public outreach campaign to get opinions on both sides of the proposed zoning change. 13 on your side's Charlie Tinker spoke to a person who fears this could bring in big developers and to city leaders who say this could create more affordable housing. Well, the city told me the reception to this idea has largely been positive so far. Now, the concern we have gotten from several locals is that too much of a good thing, in this case, increased flexibility when it comes to the footprint of that home, could wind up being a bad thing. We've got a housing crisis uh, in the city of Michigan and across the country. And one possible solution on the table for City Hall, a proposed tweak in what's required for newly built houses. It's currently in the middle of selling that plan to the public through several recent engagement sessions. If adopted, the zoning change would downsize the current minimum square footage from 850 down to 550 square feet. It's part of a ongoing multi-year process by the city to um, increase opportunities and options. Well, this is just off the Nelson neighborhood and a great example of how we have been building homes for decades, if not the last several centuries, but increasingly to ease the housing crunch, communities are moving away from building homes like these and instead thinking much smaller. The authors of a 2019 housing study found that while Muskegon had a strong rental market, the options out there were not hitting the mark. I think this is going to create new opportunities for uh, folks that want to live in our city long term. Several hundred vacant or unused lots on city owned land could be likely candidates. There's a number of different concerns. Chris Willis is a local who's dialed into the pros and the cons. We have a number of uh, vacation rentals. In moderation, those can be really great. She worries the idea could mean out-of-state developers taking advantage, more part-time residents, and less of a focus on actual livability. I want to proceed with caution and make sure that we're growing our community with full-time residents. On the flip side, the tweak says Willis could inject more options into the local housing market for newcomers and give the folks who already live here more flexibility. With the costs going up, and increasing, it makes a lot of sense to allow people to live and um, grow our community. That was Charlie Tinker reporting. The City Commission will formally review the proposal next week, and we will continue to follow this story and keep you posted.